Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this card. I'm going to call it a suspended book fold card because literally this is kind of suspended on that on the two little wings. Now I have not seen this card done before. This is something that I came up with. Um, I saw a picture of a card and it just gave me this idea basically. And I've got a couple, I've got another idea off the back of this, which I'll be doing in a bit, um, in a week or so. So I will show you that. Um and a couple of other ideas as well that have kind of sprung out of this one. So this is the card we're doing, and obviously this sort of, you know, you can kind of fold it up and make it as fluffy or as whatever, not fluffy, but you know what I mean, like it stand out, fluff it up as much as you want. Or, <clears throat> and when you put it in the envelope, you can also fold it flat, so it folds flat, and this will fit, the footprint of this is five by seven, so it will fit in an envelope for a five by seven card. Okay, so that's the one we're making today. So so for this card, you will need a 5x7 piece of card, a base card. You will also need a 5x5 five five base card. And you will need two strips that are 2 inches by 6 inches. Okay, so we're going to start with, so the 5x7 piece of card, you don't need to score that, so that can go to one side. So you take your 5x5, five because five, you need to score that, and you're going to score your 5x5 five five down the middle at 2.5 inches. Okay, and then put that to one side. And then you're going to take your two by six and you're going to score one and a half at three and at four and a half. And you're going to do that on both pieces. So we're going to score one and a half at three and at four and a half. And that's all your scoring done. So you can put your scoreboard away. Right. So once you've scored, you're then going to go ahead and fold and burnish. Your strips just all need to be folded round. So once you've done that, you end up with your strips looking like that. And then on your 5x5, five five, you just want to fold that down the middle and burnish it. Like that. Okay, so then what we want to do is we're going to bring in the pattern and map pieces that we need. Now I've stuck all mine down just so that to make it easier, so you're going to watch me do that. So you're going to need six pieces. Now this can either be your map level your map panels or your pattern panels it's up to you which one you want to use on my original card i used a pattern so i literally just had a pattern i didn't have any mat around it i just had a pattern on it okay so it's really up to you what you want to do i'm going to use on this one i'm going to use whatever i'm using for my mat that's what my square is going to be so you need six of these and they are one and a quarter wide by one and three quarters high okay so you need six of those you then need for your front piece, so for this piece here, you need two pieces of mat that are two and a quarter by four and three quarter, and the pattern panels are two inches by four and a half inches. And again, so you need two of both of those. And they are going to go on the front there, on that bit there that sticks up. Then for the back of your card, so I've used this kind of pearlescent, almost beehive pattern here at the back, you need two pieces which are going to go either side, and these are one and the mat pieces are one and three quarter by four and three quarter, and the pattern is one and a half by four and a half, and then you need one piece that goes in the middle. The mat for that is two and three quarter by four and three quarter, and the pattern is two and a half by four and a half. So we're going to put these pieces to one side for now because we really want to put our card base together first before we go ahead and stick our panels on. So if you bring your card in, take your 5x7 card base and you want to grab a ruler and a pencil and along the top you're just going to mark it halfway at three and a half inches at the top and three and a half inches at the bottom. And the reason you're doing this is because you need a line to be able to um, work out where your center of your front piece is gonna go. And if I were you, I would just draw a pencil line. Now, you're, not gonna, you're only gonna see the very top of that, so if you wanna draw the pencil line kinda like that, just so you can, you can kinda see it, because you will be covering that up with a panel, so you're not really gonna see it. Any little marks at the top and the bottom, you can easily just rub out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our two little struts that we have and we're going to put some glue on. You can use tape or glue. I'm going to use glue just because I find it's a bit easier. 
and we're going to apply some um, glue onto that first section there where the cut edge is so there's my fold that's where it's folded in half and then we're going to turn it over and this edge the cut edge needs to line up with where your um with where your pencil line is and it needs to be kind of central top and bottom okay so you're going to stick that in so that will look like that and obviously this it's only, it's only that one panel that's stuck down that's all free floating okay then you're going to take the other one and it's going to go bang opposite on the other side like a mirror image of what you've just done already okay so now what you can do is you can go ahead and stick some of your um, panels down now you will need panels when I say panels I mean like the little either the matte or pattern whatever you've chosen you're going to need these panels you, you will need to put them on I'm going to put crosses where you need to put them so you don't want to put them on this the one that's stuck the panel that's stuck down you don't want to put you don't need to put anything on there but you do need to put one on the one next door to it that's either side okay so if you open it all out you need to put them on that one and that one and then if we just fold this right over you're going to need to put them where that that's obviously that panel stuck down where that crease line is on the back you want to put one here and one here not on that one okay so again if you fold this over one here and one here now if you want you can wait until it's all together and then you can see where to stick it the only problem with that is is that then you are having to stick things sort of in where things are stuck down you have to sort of you know stick them in things so i'm going to go ahead now and stick these on top of these um crosses So when you finish, you should end up with that. So you've obviously got your halfway line where you've done, you know, put your two little flaps either side. You've missed the panel and then you stick your um, pattern or mat on. And then if you fold it along there, the first two from that fold edge you do and that one you leave blank. And the same on this side. OK, so you should end up with that. Right. So once you've done that, you can now bring in the pieces that you want to go on the back. And this one is going to go in the middle there and you want to make sure that you get it central top and bottom and you also get it central between those two score lines. And then this is going to go either side like that. OK, so we're going to go ahead and stick these on. And this is the point where if you want to rub any pencil lines out, now is the time to do it. Once you finish sticking them down, you should end up with this. So you've got these little flappy bits here, and then obviously your back panels there. And then you just need to put this to one side and bring in your 5x5 five five piece. Now, if you are going to do your card similar to how I've done this one, so on this one I've just put a butterfly in the middle and I've put happy birthday on it, then that's fine. You don't need to do this next step. Okay, so I'm going to show you something which will make, um, it'll have an acetate, bulgy bit here so that the greet not the greeting the little I've chosen a little bauble is going to stand proud okay so if you want to do it with it standing proud then you need to follow what I'm doing now and um, but if you don't then all you need to do next is stick your stick your panels down onto the front of your card okay so I'm just going to go ahead now and add this acetate piece so if you want the acetate piece that stands out the front it does stand proud quite far from the card um, but this is eight inches wide by one inch sorry eight inches long by one inch wide okay and what we're going to do is we're just going to take our card um, I've scored it either end at one and a half inches okay either end and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some red tape and apply it and we're going to stick it down before we put our pattern on. So I'm just going to put some red tape on here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that I've put red tape on but I haven't gone all the way to the crease. I've left a bit of a gap. 
and that's because this will go round the edge of that and so I don't and you're going to see a tiny bit of it sticking out there and I just didn't want you to have to um to see you know all of it so what I'm going to do now and in fact if, if you're not doing the acetate you can do this next as well um is we're going to stick this into place first okay so in order to stick it into place you want to bring both of your hinges down so they meet in the middle and then apply some glue or tape either's fine i'm going to use glue just because i find it gives me extra time i'm going to put some glue on both of these tabs like that make sure it doesn't go over the edge otherwise you'll end up sticking it to the back panel and then you're going to hold those down bring your card in and if i were you i would just do one side at a time so just put one side on make sure the middle crease of your card lines up with the center there and then just fold that over and stick it down so you end up with that in the center now when i did my original one i actually hadn't stuck the back panels down so i had the pencil line to go by but obviously it just makes decorating a bit more tricky <coughs> if you're using wet glue like me just make sure you just lift it off slightly so that it doesn't stick to the back you don't want that to stick at the back there you want to still be able to you know you've got a gap because that's what makes it that suspended gives it that suspended look and then just have a bit of a play around just make sure it's all stuck together and it's all okay there we go like that okay so now i've stuck that down obviously as i said if you're not doing the acetate you could just go ahead and add your panels add your greeting and you're done okay but if you want to do the acetate bit at the front, then this is what we need to do next. We need to take the um, acetate panel. We're going to take the backing off one side. And then I'm going to fold along that crease line. And I'm going to mount it so that it is halfway. So it, this top, this, use this as your guide. It fits centrally within that top and bottom. And that this crease line marries up with the end of your card. Okay, and then stick it down. So as you can probably see, you can see all that really ugly tape. And so that's why I left that gap. Because then when, I don't know if you can see actually, but I can see it. I can see the ugly tape. Okay, because obviously it's acetate. But it just means that when you stick this on top, you're not going to see the tape because you haven't stuck tape there. But the acetate should, you know, obviously you've got a big enough tab there that it will hold it. So now what we want to do is take the backing off this other side. And then fold it over and then stick the whole thing flat. Like that. And then we're just going to give it a bit of a... A crease so it kind of knows where it needs to be there we go and then what we're going to do is these are going to stick in here and here so obviously you're going to have to stick them behind that acetate barrier which is a little bit tricky but it's not too bad and they're the only panels you've had to do it with so it's not too bad so we're going to stick those down now Okay, so there's our card with the acetate added. Um, and then obviously, when it stands up, that bit will stand forward. So then we just need to go ahead and stick whatever we want to put on the front, on the front there. And then obviously put our greeting on. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm just going to stick this down, but I'm just going to use a tiny bit of tape just in the middle there. So I'm actually going to fold that flat, take my red tape, and I'm just going to put a line of it right down the center like that and then peel the backing off and stick my bauble on like that and then when it opens up that bit can still stand forward just give it a bit of a so as you can see it stands forward quite a long way 
but I don't I don't actually mind that I think it's quite nice gives it a real 3d element and then I'm going to stick my Merry Christmas on I'm just going to find a suitable place for it to go I'm going to go with the top corner I think okay so there is my finished card so obviously as you can see it's actually I quite like the bit sticking out the front because it's just gives it another another layer really um you do need to just you need to use quite floppy acetate so don't use the really thick stuff um something like the sort of thing you might use on an overhead projector back in the day um that kind of thickness is what you really want you don't want anything too thick um but yeah but that's what it looks like so i'm hoping you like this card please like subscribe hit the notification bell and also if you do this card again please can you just give me some credit just so that um obviously people know that i was the one who started who came up with the idea it just helps really um otherwise people get confused uh, so if you can do that that would be great and um hopefully we'll see you again next time bye